signal. And today I'm going to create a look inspired, uh, which is this one. Uh, if you like this video, then like, share, and comment down below and let me know how would. Uh, what do you think about this video and how did you feel about the look? Uh, and also subscribe to my channel plus hit the bell icon beside it so that you can get the notification whenever a new video comes up. Uh, Lacme Absolute Blur Primer um, as uh, as and I already moisturized my skin and I already moisturized my skin it's completely protected and exfoliated um, so let's just start price detail and from where I got this product is mentioned in the description box Next I'm going to do is I'm taking this Lakme 9 to 5 CC cream in the shade beige. Yes, beige. And um, uh, how do you mean this? How do you mean this in dark motion? You can use any pattern and motion to blend this out and make sure it uplifts your skin. You can directly you can directly jump onto foundation if you don't want to use this stage stage as I have sensitive skin and no uh, using a foundation is kind of a uh, bit too much for me. Applying CC cream underneath your foundation will give you a dewy and a fresh look. So if you don't have a dewy foundation then you can surely do this step and achieve the desired goal. And also if you hear the snoring sound behind this clip then please ignore it's my little dog arrow behind it. I'm seriously. So with the help of this pack mini sponge, I'm going to use my foundation. I'm just using a little bit. Uh, you can also increase it. So yes, I'm done with my base now and I am going to conceal my problematic area. So I am again using Fit Me Concealer and I'm in the shade 25 medium, medium Moen. That is what it is written. That is 25 medium. So let's just start.
compact powder instead of loose powder but it is ideal to use loose powder to set your base but if you don't have a one and you can use this one so right now here i'm using the compact powder to set in my base and cause it i'm already done with my one eye and i'm doing i'm gonna do my other eye with the maybelline blush nude and i'm gonna use the first color which is this white one for as a base using this brown color as a transition color look at brown i'm using a darker brown should be darkest gray and a dark brown Smoky eye. I'm gonna use the black color from the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Quad uh, palette, and I'm gonna use the highlighter part of it inside the uh, corner of my eye. And I'm also gonna dab my, some black of it on the outer corners of. Put the same black color under my waterline to build the build. use any kajal instead of which i used as i'm not a very good kajal fan so i have my wink liner i'm using nykaa's ink liner I'm not wearing any falsies so I'm using Max 3 dimensional mascara you can use any mascara to give your eyelashes a hyper curl effect and you can also curl your eyelashes before applying mascara Do my brow I'm using this fully side first to comb my hair and I'm going to use the brow pencil to fill in my brows this brow pencil is from MU that i am done with my eye makeup so it's time for the lip makeup and i'm doing my lips with mac this color is called high drama and it is a very royal and a dark maroon color kind of plum color which i really love i love wearing darker colors and the texture of this lipstick is so smooth on your lips that you don't feel like you're applying a matte lipstick and also the plus point is that it is in a liquid form Pause. You can change the color of the lipstick, uh, whichever you want. So I tried with this one. You can try with any one, and you can send me your recreations as well. And let me know how do you feel about this in the comment section below. And also, you can DM me on my Instagram. Check out my. Bye.